Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft video where today I'm bringing you a brand new house build which is where I choose either a Minecraft character or YouTuber and make a statue of them. However, these aren't just ordinary statues, I actually build within the builds and create a themed house which reflects the personality of the character that I have built. So without further ado, I choose which statue to make from the comments in the previous videos. So here are this week's featured comments and today's house is the one the only husky mod kip. So this is um, easily the most requested statue build from the previous video. You love this guy. He is part of the team crafted kind of team. So I've got him next to deadlocks here, which was last week's house build. Make sure you check that out if you haven't already. And let's do a little um, fly around of this guy. So I've made sure to put him in water just so he doesn't, you know, dry out because he is a mud kip and he, he might, he runs the risk of drying out. Bless him. So let's go through this. This is, he actually has really, really simple skin. Everything's just gray it's no gradients no shading whatsoever on his suit anyway and he's got a little suit with buttons and a little tie there which looks awesome and then he's just got the little belt buckle there too so that is all that the skin is but the head is really awesome really colorful just an amazing mudkip and mudkip has these weird things on the side these little spikes so i thought i'd put those in 3d and it turned out pretty well then we've got a um, mudkip's little mohican as well so this is husky mudkips he's also got his tail thingy at the back which looks pretty sweet and yeah this is how it turned out so i hope you enjoy it so yeah i put him next to deadlocks because he's part of the kind of recording team over here team crafted i believe they're called now and anyway this is what it looks like from the outside i hope that you enjoy it with the shaders installed as well i'm pretty happy with how um it turned out i really like the colors in minecraft that you for the um the mud kips head but you know we don't just do the outside of this we go inside as well so let's see what i've got in store for you this time so in here we've got a little bridge that goes over the water here because you know he needs to be standing in water and then we get greeted by this awesome little balcony here now the balcony kind of goes down like this into an underwater section. Now I don't really know what to put in the water so you can suggest those in the comments below if you want to because I will be making, as I say every single time, that I will be making updates to these before I release the entire map which should be very very soon. And then I've got some things from the Jammy Furniture mod here. I've got some chairs here but if you press this secret button you will be taken to another new place. So there's water above you, water around you and you're just submerged by the awesome looking water. But if you press this button you will get taken to the engine room. So this is the engine room and yeah, this is Husky Mudkip's little bit of an engine. And why would there be an engine inside Husky Mudkip's? Well, look over here. Warning. Bomb engine. So this is the engine pumping away here. This is the best redstone I can do. This is the most complex house that I have built in terms of redstone. It was pretty damn... It took so long to do. But anyway, here's warning. Bomb engine as we've just seen and then we've got it pumping away. And this is the finale of the house. I wasn't 100% sure what to do with this because I've done lots of games in houses already and you'll see that you've kind of teleported up here and that's like the the top of the fish tank if there were fish in minecraft there'd be fish in there but we're not putting squids in there don't be silly don't be silly guys but anyway i was struggling with what to put in here and then i remembered um husky mod gets really old videos or really old popular videos are to do with um well you're going to find out lots of bombs basically so this is the engine room. This is the big red button here. And your kipper flipper just goes right on it. So let's press it and, and see the finale of this house build. So let's press this. We've got a three. We've got a two. We've got a one. And then we've got a holy butt. And we'll see what the hell is going to go down. Oh, what? What? Oh, damn, that actually worked perfectly. Look at this. He's actually destroyed it. And he's blown up half of Deadlocks' ear. That is a bit terrible. Look at that. Oh, some of his face is gone as well. Look at that. And there's only the legs as the water spills out of Husky Mudkips. And oh my god, he actually blew up Cupquake's face as well. And the front of the arm. Wow, that went a little bit further than I thought. And Bajan Canadian. Oh my god, he's taken out his left foot. Oh god, it's all gone very, very wrong. But yeah, I thought I'd put that in there. It's pretty much just a complex head full of TNT. Yeah, with a complex kind of countdown as well. Well, well complex for me because I'm pretty bad at redstone. But anyway, this is the Husky Mudkips build or was. Don't worry, it'll be saved. I did back it up. So it will be back for next time. But anyway, that is pretty much it for the house build this week. And if you did enjoy it, then please do leave a like just below the video and also subscribe if you happen to be new to the channel for daily Minecraft videos. I do daily mod reviews this series on a weekend and a modded survival with my own custom mod pack. So yeah, please go ahead and do that. And as always, comment down below with who you want to be in the build for next week to get your comments possibly featured in next week's videos thanks again for watching everyone and i will see you all next time goodbye so much destruction